So next is calculating the equilibrium concentration. We have done the problems related to this. Still, we we would like to formalize how it goes. So, so the first thing is that we would write the balanced equation. Write the write the balanced equation. The way it is written. Okay. Write the balanced equation with equation with smallest factors right otherwise things will change we know that the second thing is that you assign those values okay <clears throat> under equilibrium make a table under under equilibrium under the balanced equation we make a table equation we make a table with with the first thing is that initial concentration okay the initial concentrations that would be mostly given to you okay then change in concentration and going to equilibrium change in concentration I'm writing like this in going to equilibrium and and then the equilibrium concentration okay the equilibrium concentration okay So how do you do that? Maybe you assign one of them as x and subtract it from the initial concentration. And if you're confused, you apply the stoichiometry, okay? Fine. So, so assign one of the <coughs> assign one of the substances. that goes to equilibrium as x that goes to equilibrium as x and apply stoichiometry to arrive at the result to arrive at other concentrations otherwise otherwise it is pretty obvious how how things happen okay <clears throat> and then put the equilibrium concentrations i am writing equilibrium as eq concentration is this equilibrium concentration in in the equation of kc and then find x right find x okay and then put it in all the values and you'll get the equilibrium concentration right okay so for for a reaction which is something like this n2 plus 3h2 giving you 2nh3 the famous ammonia synthesis reaction and suppose you are given this as 0 0.8 and this as 0 0.6 and this as zero, then what do you do? You'll take where? Which to be taken as x? Mm -hmm. I didn't get you. So I should I should write point eight minus x and here. 0.6 minus 3x. Why 3x? One and three of that. Okay. So they say you write the equilibrium concentration, you write the change in concentration. Okay. So you might also as well write this. 
that x moles of this reacts with 3x moles of this to give you 2x moles of this. Is that so? No? This will hold? Why will that hold? Because 1 mole of this reacts with 3 moles of this to give you 2 moles of this. So 1x mole reacts with 3x moles to give you 2x moles. Right. Now this is what has reacted. So what is left is the difference of the two. So if you get confused, you do this. Rather, I always recommend you to do this. These react, so they, 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 they are negatives and that gets produced and then you add them. Okay. And then whatever is the equilibrium concentration of this. So, so what do I do? I, I have the value of Kc 2x whole square upon, upon 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 minus x into 0.6 minus 3x whole cube. Right. Maybe solving this equation will, will test a lot of your mathematical skills, but fine. This is how it is done because this becomes a, <clears throat> a degree 4 equation, right? And, and you are not equipped to solve that. So that will require say some graphing calculator or, or any computer program to solve it. Okay? Hmm? by yourself no no it will become difficult because getting the zeros is a big task there had it been some simple simple uh, simple coefficient one two three or four then you would have maybe kind of solved it but but it becomes difficult to solve in such situations but anyway it is solvable that that is that is a different thing okay if it is not solvable by you it is solvable by calculators or computers but, but this is the way it is done, fine, okay. 